Music. Once there lived a young boy in a small town he was very lazy and had a habit of procrastinating he always delayed his surgent work and task and was a victim of procrastination as a result he was falling behind any studies and other fields of life as compared to his friends and class. Fellows his family and teachers told him many times to value his time but he did not listen to their advice he did not care about his future and wasted his time on tribal things one day a wise monk arrived in their town he was renowned for his wisdom and enlightenment many people wanted to meet him and learn from him the young Bo also decided to go and see the monk hoping that he could get some tips to surpass his friends in every field of life he reached the place where the monk was staying and waited when his turn came he bowed to the monk and said or are one please help me i am failure in my life i am lagging behind my friends classmates and contemporaries in every field i want to surpass them all and become the best please tell me how to do that the monk looked at young boy with compassion and said my child you are suffering because you do not value your time you procrastinate and waste your precious moments which you can never get back let me tell you a story by which you can understand the value of time the boy knowed eagerly and listened to the mong story the mong continued once upon a time there was a king who was very generous and kind he loved his people and always helped them in their needs one day he met his old classmate who had studied with him in a guricle the classmate was very lazy and poor he had no job no money and no respect he always complained about his fate and blamed others for his problems. The king recognized his classmate and felt sorry for him he asked him about his life and his troubles the classmate said sadly oh king I don't know why everyone says that. I can't do anything even when I go to get a job everyone refuses me my enemies have told everyone that I never do any work on time I don't understand what to do the king said said let us make a deal. Before sunset you come to my treasury, and collect as much gold and gems as you, can it will all be. Yours the classmate was overjoyed and, thanked the king profusely he rushed to, his home and told his wife, everything the wife was also very happy, and said go and get the golden gems now, time is good for you the classmate said, I can't go now I am hungry give me lunch. First his wife quickly prepared some, food and served him he ate his lunch slowly and leisurely thinking that he had plenty of time to get the treasure after finishing his lunch he felt sleepy and said i should take a nap i will go to the treasury after i woke up he lay down on his bed and closed his eyes he thought he would sleep for a while but he slept for two hours when he woke up he saw that it was late in the afternoon he picked up a few bags and went toward the king's treasury on the way the sun was shining brightly and he felt hot he thought I should take some rest under a tree and then move forward he sat down under a tree to rest a gentle breeze was blowing and climate was pleasant as soon as he sat to rest he fell asleep again he kept sleeping for another four hours when he woke up he saw that evening was approaching and the sun was about to set he got up in a hurry and started running towards the palace after some time he finally reached the palace but it was too late then the sun had set and the palace gates had been shut before he could reach there the lazy man was standing disappointed there he had missed the chance to get rich because he did not value his time the m finished the story and looked at young bo the boy was speechless he realized his mistake and felt ashamed he thanked the mon for his guidance and bow to change his ways he understood that Time is precious and should not be wasted. He went back to his home and started working hard on his goals. He stopped procrastinating and became more productive and successful. He also became happier and more respected by his friends and family. If we see in our lives, we will find that time is like gold. It is the most pockiest thing we have. We have only a limited amount of time in our lives, and we should use it wisely and Productively, we should not waste our time on things that do not matter but focus on things that do we should not.
Delay our works and tasks, but do them on time and with quality. There is a famous saying if you value your time, then time will value you. But if you ruin your time, then time will ruin your whole life. We can achieve anything in life by using our time wisely, but if we waste our time, we will lose our opportunities and regret later. Learn the value of one minute from a traveler who missed his train by one minute and learn the value of. One year from a student who failed in his annual exams, those who value their time can accomplish anything in their life. But those who do not value their time become failures in their life. If you want to do something in your life, then never be lazy and procrastinate your work. Otherwise, one day you will regret like that lazy man who could not reach the palace before sunset. Therefore, always use your time wisely, enjoy little moments with your family and friends by doing so you will not only achieve your goals and dreams, but also live a fulfilling and satisfying life.